So welcome to a little introduction to Git and GitHub. Um, it's very basic, so if you have absolutely no clue, then this is for you. Otherwise, it's maybe boring. I'm just telling you how I'm using Git and I'm able to survive in most of the cases with that knowledge. Sometimes I have to read the documentation for the more advanced stuff, but in let's say 80% of the cases, what I will tell you now is sufficient. So let's actually start um, using GitHub. It makes things a bit more easy. There's also um, competition to GitHub. This is GitLab. GitLab is particularly interesting because the whole system behind GitLab is open source. So this is a hosted version, but you can have the whole system on-prem and uh, also purchase support from GitLab. Uh, those guys are partially in Berlin, so they are pretty cool. Anyway, let's start with GitHub here. So what I will do now is create a repository. So a repository is the stuff um, where, uh, the, the, the location where your stuff goes in, no? Okay, so let's call it, I don't know, um, demo. And we can choose whether we want to create a public or a private repository. So that repository is remote, okay? That's hosted at GitHub. And let's initialize with a readme and also with a, well, let's keep ignore for now. I will show you that later. So we create now the repository and once this is created it's very easy to have a copy of this repository locally. There are two options. One is cloning it via HTTPS or via SSH. So I'm always using SSH. SSH just makes things a bit more easy. Um, the only thing you need to do is you have to add your public identity to GitHub. Uh, I can show you that later. So now the only thing we need to do is we go to an empty folder and then we say git clone and this link. So git clone and this link. Okay. So what now happens is the contents of this is copied to my machine. Here I have to specify my um, password for my SSH identity. So that's something I need to explain you later. So if we now go, go to demo, we will see here uh, the readme file. And you see here there is um, contents of the readme file. Okay, now let's add a file. So, um, so you see here there's only the readme and the dot git folder. <coughs> Please never ever touch it. Okay. So let's create another file. Let's say uh, vi test dot text and hello. This is a test. And now we add this to the repo. So first of all, we say git add test.txt. And now if we say now git status, then we see that this file is now in the so-called staging area. Okay, that's something in between your local folder and your local repository. So you have a local folder with the contents, you have a local repository and you have a remote repository. And you personally, you work with your local repository and all the other guys working together with you are working also with their local repositories and you sync all your contents with a remote repository, okay? So now we wanna commit. So we say, oh, let's do something else. Let's say uh, we create a file test two and now we say git add test to the text. Now, interestingly, if we now say uh, git status, those are both in the staging area. And now if we say git commit, and we say message, message initial commit, um, that is now in our local repository on this machine. 
okay? And the idea is why you have the staging area, you can control which files go into a commit because the, let's say, the atomic um, entity here in Git is, is the commit, uh, so, so everything is around, built around the commit. So you can here definitely control which files are going into a single commit. And now what you want to do is you want to push the contents of your local repository to the remote repository. Because if you now go to um, this here, to this uh, GitHub project, you see there, there is no additional file, okay? So we say now uh, git push, and what now happens is, I again have to provide a password, I don't have the key manager, uh, the key agent uh, running. So now you see here we have committed this local change in the local repository to the remote repository. And now you can see that you have these uh, two files here. And if you click on that file, you see first of all the content and also you see here uh, which commit was responsible for adding this file, okay? Um, another interesting thing is if you are starting from scratch, you can actually also do the following, okay? Now let's delete this project. And this is uh, a bit hard just to make sure you do, don't do that accidentally. So delete this repository and you have to say demo here. Oh no, I think you have to type the whole thingy here. So, so now this project is deleted. Okay, so now let's um, do something else. Let's create a new repository, but now let's init the repository on, on my machine. Let's call it demo again. Um, we don't initialize it with a readme, so we say create repository. <coughs> and if you're lucky, GitHub will show us how to do it. Ah, yeah, here. Okay, let's actually do it ourselves. So let's get rid of um, the demo folder. And let's create it again. And now do what they tell us. So we create a readme. And then we say git init. So now we have it initialized because now we have the dot git folder, which you never ever should touch. And now we say um, git add readme, but we can also say git add dot. So it's adding everything which was in our folder. So that's only the readme.md. And then uh, we say git commit as usual um, test or whatever. And now we can't say git push now, okay? If we say git push, it doesn't know where to push it because actually we haven't told this local folder that it should connect to remote repository. That we do with uh, git add remote Git wrote remote at origin, and that's the URL of, of our project. And then we can say git push u origin master, and that's basically it. So we have to recreate, sorry, re enter the password for my RSA key. And if we are lucky and everything worked fine, we can now go to the project and we should see the readme file, which is the case. Okay, that's it for now. That's the first part. In the next video, I will show you how to do branches and actually also how to create uh, pull requests. Okay, thanks for watching and see you later. <music>